New Year, same me. Let's go. Alright guys, so starting off the year with a little bit of a fire unboxing. I actually got this last year, beginning of December, so it's kind of been sitting here. I don't know why I haven't ripped it open yet. Well, maybe because I don't have the space for it since I have three other gunships. So, I guess that's why. But we're going to unbox this today. So this is the 2008 Walmart exclusive, the Clone Wars gunship. So this bad boy dropped a good 15 years ago. And what I love about this one is it's sealed. Look at that tape. Look at that 15 year old tape. You know me, I love cutting that stuff. So I got this sealed brand new off of eBay. So I was kind of stalking this one for maybe two months. And they all go for like this, like crazy prices, like 400, 450, 600. And I managed to get this from being patient for under 200 sealed brand new shipped, which is like crazy, super crazy. Like I didn't believe it till I got here and I still don't even believe it's in here until I open it up. So we're gonna take a look at the box. And also I got this at the last Star Wars convention in Orlando, a small toy show. I'll link the video down in the description below. It was a couple weeks ago. But another one of these clone troopers on the gunship turret as a little attachment. Now, if you guys have never seen this before, I'll also link in the description this video where I kind of broke this down where it's kind of another alternative to the other version of this gunship that comes with the big turrets that's really, really pricey to get. This is a good alternative. So you guys will see when I put this one on here as well. Now, we can look at the front of the box, and this thing is massive. So, Star Wars only at Walmart, Republic Gunship, and this is a special edition. So, this one on the front has the artwork of a Twi'lek, which they call Lucky Leku. And I believe this was in a couple of episodes of Clone Wars, if I'm not mistaken. You can see, like, this specific ship with that on the front. So, that's the front of the box. And the box is in great condition for being 15 years old, which is very surprising. You got the side right there with that tape sealed. You got the back of the box. So all the cool different things you could do and different ways to set it up. And then the other side, which is the same as the other side. And then the top is another dope shot of the ship. All right, so let's do it. Let's break open this 15 year old bad boy. Oh, my favorite sight. That vintage cardboard and everything sealed in the bag. All right, let's get this beautiful ship out. Oh. Those Lekus are lucky. Damn. I cannot wait to get this put together. So there's the main part of the ship. Oh. And then we got some more pieces right here. Oh. Look at those factory twists. Mm. Such a beautiful sight. This has been waiting for me for 15 years. And then here's the other. So I'm gonna get all this out of the wrapping and plastic right now, and then we're gonna put it together. So this is my fourth gunship, and there's actually seven of them total. So over the years, they've released seven different variations. Now, there was this one video I watched that actually helped me with this. I'm gonna link it down below. So now, in that video, he kind of shows you all the differences because he has them all, and I didn't realize that there were so many. Now. Three or four of them are kind of like identical, but then there's a couple of different like unique ones that stand out. All right, so here's the actual main part of the ship and what makes this different than the other one, because this looks just like the Attack of the Clones version gunship, it's really here in the paint job in the front. So with that Twi'lek on there, it's on both sides. So that's the main difference. Now this was in about like four or five different episodes. So if you look at this little picture right here, 
you'll kind of see that it was in a bunch of different episodes and it was in some of the earlier seasons down to the last season so definitely a very iconic specific ship that stands out from the rest of the group so so first we're going to throw on the cockpit all right so we got that clipped in boom all right next we could do where's the, the base so then it has a little peg hole. So if you have vintage collection three and three quarter figures, they'll kind of stand in there and not move and fall out. But that's just this bottom base. And there's, I think there's a button too that you could kind of drop it and it'll kind of drop with them. But we got the base in. Next, the doors. There's these two little like hinges right here. So you gotta just line up those hinges onto the door, clip them in. So we got one door on, door number two. Close that bad boy up. Next, we could do the wings. Three little pegs, it just clicks right in, super easy. Bam. One wing. Boom. Ah. So you got the two wings on. And then the cannons, same thing. There's two pegs there. They got the peg holes, they just go right in one and two all right so that's pretty much it complete now what i find is weird and i gotta do my research but it didn't come with like the little nose chin pieces that go here or like the little rockets that go in here so i don't know what that's about but luckily with these little nose chin pieces here there's this guy on ebay right here that actually 3d prints them and i've actually ordered some before because some of my other ones that i bought that were not brand new, we're missing them too. So I'll probably order some of those. But other than that, like, this thing is beautiful. So, the Walmart exclusive Lucky Leku Republic gunship. And again, what makes it stand out is just that art in the front. Other than that, it's basically the same as the uh, other attack of the clone gunship the first one that came out and the same as the vintage collection gunship Except for the vintage collection one comes with the big ball turrets on the side We can take a look at this bad boy and add him on there All right, so this piece here it just kind of like clips in the doorway Like right in like here. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can It's kind of like right here on both sides so you could have it on either side or depending on how you have it displayed you could have it on just one side so just like that clicks right in all right guys and here it is with the trooper and the turret the firing turret on there so not bad not bad now the only thing that sucks is I don't know where I'm gonna put this right now because literally I need to go to Ikea and get like another Calyx bookshelf I think it's called to expand this setup so for now, he'll probably just be chilling on the floor with the Falcon, the at at the TIE Fighter, and the other gunship. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this gunship, and if you guys have this or have any of the other ones that were released. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys enjoy this video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.